it's an important race. So many people cheering for us. It is race day. And inside the Selman house, there's a lot happening. It is so hard to make that Olympic team. We know this is icing on the cake. And a lot everyone's feeling grateful, excited, and anxious. I'm trying to make sure my nerves are in check. Kenny's mom, Angela, knows the stakes and the challenge ahead. Everyone thinks that it's, it's a rah-rah situation, but it is, it's hard to, to know that your child may not win. And so I always want him to know, no matter what, that we still love him, that he's, uh, he's already won for us. For the Selman family, it's been a remarkable ride. Watching him even young, he was winning all the time. So much so, a room is filled with reminders. Watching him has been amazing. It's an incredible journey, so proud. And now it continues on the world's largest stage. He is ready. And you're ready. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> We're ready. Second semi-final of right. the men's 400-meter hurdles. Kenny Selman. There he is, running at his first Olympics. Come on, Kenny. Selman. Surreal. He's going to have to come from behind you, And stressful. Run, run, Kenny. Oh, oh my gosh. It's not the outcome they'd hoped for. Oof. Angela and Dad Bill check the times, knowing it's going to be close. Top eight makes the final. Kenny's right at nine or ten. Still, nothing changes the fact that he is among the best in the world, top 10, an Olympian, and there is much more to come. You want to be there for him to say, uh, it's going to be all right, uh, you did great, uh, we still love you, support you. All the folks that are supporting him, they know already that he's won. His future is very bright.